I want you to listen to Joy on Joyanne Reed here. Let's talk about something that matters to all of us, especially those of us who are blessed to be parents, our children. In recent years, we've spent a lot of time listening to outraged conservative parents screaming about what masks are doing to their kids. We've heard them complain that Michelle Obama's biography should be banned because it promotes reverse racism or demanding that Mouse, a book about the Holocaust or books about LGBTQ kids be banned because they make them uncomfortable. We've all seen the videos of ragey right-wing parents at school board meetings. No mask mandates. My child, my children will not come to school on Monday with a mask on. All right, that's not happening. And I will bring every single gun loaded and ready. To many kids, this content is shocking. Um, it's confusing and it's even disgusting to them. And honestly, I feel like it should be to you too. We're desperately trying to defend our kids from ideologies that seek to divide them rather than unify them. That's why we're fighting CRT and equity practices. Of course, these supposed grassroots efforts in scare quotes, aren't really grassroots. I mean, they never are. As we've mentioned before on this show, they are driven by Republican strategists, activists, and think tanks, national Republicans devoid of actual ideas, who are looking to get out the Republican vote by feigning deep, deep concern about the kids. We also have to uh, protect people uh, and protect our kids uh, from some very pernicious uh, ideologies that are trying to be forced upon them. I think it's been tragic to really watch what's happened across this country, especially to our children. We've got kiddos now that they don't know life without masks. But, okay, a question. Where is that same energy for these actual dangers to our kids? This is an NBC News special report. Here's Lester Holt. Good day. We're coming on the air from New York uh, with word of a school shooting at an elementary school in Fairfield County, Connecticut. There have apparently been many casualties. Breaking news tonight. It has happened again. Another deadly mass shooting at an American high school, this time in Florida. Tonight from Santa Fe, Texas, it has happened again. Another massacre at an American high school. This country's latest deadly school shooting at a high school north of Detroit. Federal authorities investigating bomb threats made at more than a dozen historically black colleges and universities. All these Republicans who are claiming to be just so concerned about the kids. Ron DeSantis was an incoming freshman congressman when Sandy Hook happened. Where was his concern then? And you know what's tragic, Governor Christy Noem? The kids across the country have no idea what it's like to go to school without the prospect of an active shooter showing up. I, for one, am eagerly awaiting all of your legislative proposals, other than thoughts and prayers, that address this urgent threat to our kids, since you care so much about protecting the children. And I know when you folks want to do something, you do it. Take, for example, these other Republicans who want to trigger the libs. You remember these pictures of Representatives Lauren Boebert and Thomas Massey? How does cosplaying with the weapon of choice of school mass murderers in matching outfits protect the children? I mean, do you leave those firearms just laying around the house where the kids can get to them? And maybe, just maybe, if Republicans cared about the kids, they could muster the courage to pass a new assault weapons ban, just like the one that Joe Biden got passed back in 1994. You know, the assault weapons ban that Republicans allowed to expire. Unfortunately for actual accountability, parents and kids are, they're on their own when it comes to school shootings. They're all on their own. When it comes to books, when it comes to everything, well, we want to take it away, we want to take it away. But when it comes to guns, mm, you know, we're a gun loving country. But you know, there, there are reasons why. A lot of money in guns, but a friend of mine today, Roberto Lewis, sent me something today. Let me just tell you what it said. It said that the big fear of CRT is not what most people believe that it is per se. That's one of the things that it implies. It implies the following. If you start to learn CRT and you learn things about what went on in the lynchings and if you start to see in all the books that many of us have seen already 
that shows what all of that look like. And if all Americans got to see it, we would have a different view of each other, right? And it's not a negative view. It's actually a view of atonement. It's a view of saying we're not like that anymore. But what happens is that belief that any one group is superior to the other or one, or one particular group is, one, is more violent than another will come to an end. Because right now, if you watch the 5 o'clock news, crime has a certain look. And because the producers in those stations are predisposed to highlight... Uh, I don't have a link. He, he sent it to me as a video. So, but I will find a link, Bridge, and I'm going to put it out. Thank you for saying that. But, but, but here's my narrative here. Um, if you look at the news, crime has a certain look. And it makes people predisposed to believe that crime is somehow more prevalent in one place than the other or it has always been this way etc etc and what this video kind of put together in good form is that if you see what violence here in america looked like during lynching lynching was not an isolated thing lynching was a thing where communities Got, to, got, got together and watched as a sport. Some of these folks were even barbecued. And the most interesting thing about it is there are a lot of old pictures in a lot of these books that if people started to really learn about what happened in this country would see. Notice when DeSantis and all these guys say, we don't want little white kids to feel bad. It's, little white kids are not going to feel bad. Little white kids are going to say, Mom and Dad, why did Grandma and Grandpa do this? Because a lot of their faces are nice, clean, and clear in a lot of these photos. You know? So a lot of reasons, that, I mean, and the thing about it is I think, remember earlier I spoke about atonement, empathy truth if we if we just have all those things right and people get a chance to see the things that we have done as a country and where we are today they'll say wow you know and then they won't have to look at some group of folk and think those are the violent ones because they are not there are violence in everything. There, there, there's, there, there's violence in humanity. And that folks like to codify. That folks like to codify violence to hue. Is yet something else done by a plutocracy wanting to control us all. Divide and conquer. But when people see that all people suffer from that same disease, we're able to be led by psychopaths. Some, we ought to often allow psychopaths to pull us down the wrong road. When we learn that, then it will make everyone realize that we're all the same, we all have the propensity to do good, and we, will, we always can do wrong being led by psychopaths. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.